Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helena um, and this is my channel which I'm going to name Helena Astro. Um, so I'm Helena, I'm from Scotland. Uh, I am, I would say I'm an amateur astrophotographer and astronomer. So from like a very young age I was always interested in like space and if there was any life and like aliens uh, on other planets um, and I got my first small telescope when I was about 10, um, absolutely loved it, got so much wear out of it, use out of it, um, then yes, yeah, so back in, um, back in, when was it, 2016, uh, wow, 2016, <laughs> um, I applied for CBBC's The Day Engineers, you've probably heard of it. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's basically this fantastic team that come out, um, build your dream den in your garden or in your house. Uh, there's been ones done in basements and uh, they come out, build it for you and you get the whole experience of being on telly, being um, backstage with the camera crew sort of thing. It was great. Um, so I got um, my observatory, which I'm in right now, in my back garden. Um, absolutely love it. Um, it's changed my views on astronomy. Um, they also really kindly uh, equipped me with this 10 inch Dipsonian telescope. Uh, it's a 10 inch sky watcher reflector Dipsonian. Uh, and they also supplied me with a Canon 1100D camera, um, which I'm filming with right now. <laughs> and, and it attaches to the telescope to take great photos. Uh, so, yeah and it attaches to the telescope to take images. Um, so I was really lucky to get that experience. I was uh, one out of, uh, there was 10 others I was um, with. I was lucky enough to be success. My application was very successful. It was a great experience. I love meeting the team. Um, and yeah, it's just got me uh, heavily into <laughs> astronomy uh, now. So this is a little introduction video for um, to my channel. Uh, basically, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be filming most of the time in my den. Fingers crossed, Scottish weather isn't that reliable. So uh, I might come out and it might start raining and you might hear rain in the background or I might not come out at all because I'll get drenched and you know. Um, so I might not do that, um, but I will uh, certainly be coming out on a lovely spring and summer days like this to film and chat to you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be talking to you about lenses. So, um, lenses for the telescope. Pretty straightforward. Um, I have four lenses in this case uh, and a torch. Um, it shows in infrared. So if you don't know what infrared is, infrared is a red light instead of the white normal torch light. Um, so when I so, so when I come out, I can put the infrared light on. It won't damage my eyes, um, which is great uh, when I'm coming out at night to do an imaging session. I've got caps and filters. So this, these are all filters that I still have quite a lot to learn about. Um, but I'm going to be chatting to you a lot about them. Um, I've got loads of more equipment uh, up in the house, which I will bring down for future videos. Um, any video suggestions, comment down below what you'd like me to do because I really need some ideas. Um, yeah. So I think today I'm just going to give you like a tour of the telescope kind of thing and what it does. Um, I'm currently saving up for, almost there, um, ready to get a new telescope which is a refractor. I'm either going to go for the uh, Skywatcher ATED um, or the Skywatcher Esprit uh, ATED. Um, it just depends. The Esprit is a little bit more expensive but it is optimised for astrophotography so it might be the one I, sh uh, I could go for. Um, the other one, um, it's very similar, it's just a little bit cheaper. Um, both though will go on an, a Skywatcher HEQ5 um, Pro Sight Sin Scan, Sign Scan, 
uh, Pro Go To uh, mount. So I can type in um, what I'd like to um, see in the night sky, and it'll just track it, um, which which will be really handy because I'm getting into deep sky astrophotography at the moment. So it's going to be really really handy. And um, this dubsolution can only do so much, <laughs> um, but I love it to pieces. Uh, by the way, it's name her name's Luna, and um, so I'll be referring to her as Luna. I know the ten inch Dubsonians. This is Luna. Um, so yeah, let's get going with the telescope overview. So this is Luna, my 10 inch Dubsonian Skywatcher telescope. If we open up the main cap, this is where the primary and secondary mirrors are situated. And if we come round here to the eyepiece, this is where the focus ring and the eyepiece lies. So see this silver ring round here? If we move these focus rings up and down, the tube will go up and down and that is the image going in and out of focus. This T-ring attaches onto my camera that I'm using right now to attach onto the telescope to take astrophotography. And this is the eyepiece where you look through to see the object you've tracked. This is the viewfinder. Before you look through the eyepiece, you make sure that this and the these two things are aligned. If they are, al sorry, that's just my den door creaking. If they're aligned, then that means that if you look through here, then whatever you look through here will project onto here, which is very, very, very handy. The steering's really simple. You just turn it like so. And it also comes with a handy lens rack so that if I'm out with the scope, which I really, rarely am because it's really big and bulky, but if I'm out with the scope I can put lenses in there without having to carry them in a bag. So yeah, hopefully that's given you uh, a little bit of uh, an insight to where I am, uh, where I sergeys. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any video suggestions? Um, any mistakes that I've made, uh, any fellow astrophotographers and astronomers comment down below uh, and tell me what mistake I've made because it's very likely I've made a few. Um, yeah, so any tips and tricks would be much appreciated. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!